Well, as for the markets, let's bring in Tom Petrovsky over at Comsec now. So how do we open up today, Tom? Well, Pete, uh, almost counterintuitively, we're going to see a better start for the market today. So adding to yesterday's gains, the futures are telling us the ASX 200 should be up by around 0.6 of a percent. And I say counterintuitively because one of the features of the last day has been that we have seen a procession of weaker economic news, be it uh, from China yesterday, some quite downbeat numbers. Uh, and then that continued in the Northern Hemisphere, particularly uh, in the US session, uh, an important survey of manufacturing activity, which is uh, surveyed by the New York Federal Reserve, the Empire State Survey. Uh, it's an important barometer of manufacturing activity in the Northeast of the US, uh, that fell uh, quite substantially. It was one of the biggest declines on record. And, and then sentiment in uh, the home building sector, uh, that uh, survey was also uh, quite significant in the fact that it has fallen for eighth uh, for the eighth consecutive month. So uh, higher costs, Pete, and uh, interest rates are really uh, bearing down on the uh, b uh, home building sector in the US. Notwithstanding that, though, uh, US and European markets rose last night. So uh, the broader market, the S&P 500, up by about a third of a percent. European markets were generally higher. Uh, the German DAX up by around f uh, four tenths of a percent. The view being taken, Pete, that with this uh, moderating pulse of activity, uh, that central banks could potentially take their foot off the pedal when it comes to rate rikes. Okay, rate Tom, Tom Pachowski, thank you.